This video contains instructions for adding a dynamic publishing list to your publishing site. CDS supports publishing dynamic lists as web parts. The lists are first created in SharePoint using the Content Distribution Service Publishing List template, after which they are populated by list items. To create a new CDS list, first browse to Site Actions, View All Site Content. In this view, click Create. In the window that opens, choose the Content Distribution Service Publishing List. Give the list a name and click Create. After this, you are ready to add new list items. Click Add New Item to add a new item to the list. In the pop-up window, fill in the required fields for the list item. The fields that are available are Title, which is the title of the list item. Content contains the rich text content for the list item. Start Time contains the moment in time when the list item becomes visible in the published site, and End Time contains the moment in time when the list item disappears from the published site. Note that start time and end time are required properties, so if you wish to have the news item visible straight away, set the start time to a moment in the past. If you wish the news item to be always visible, set the end time to a point in the distant future. After you are finished, click Save. After you have created your list, you are ready to add it to the site. Currently CDS only supports adding the lists as list web parts, which means that you cannot add the list inside page content or as a content query web part. Edit the page you want to add the list to. Click on Add a web part on the slot you want the list to be published in. In the pop-up window, you can search for the list you just created, or you can browse through the gallery to find it. Once you have found the correct list, click on it, and then choose Add. After this, you can review the results in the page, and you can edit your list directly via the page itself.